to start our project, the first thing we're going to do is go to Open and choose from the downloaded designs the one that is the applique of our um, sewing machine. I'm going to click on Open and it places it in the middle of our hoop. This design is an applique that is done for the um, brother scan and cut or the cameo silhouette or it only has a placement line. Whoops. And so it has a placement line and it has the finishing stitch. So it is expecting that you are creating a cut file for this. If you need to do the tack down, simply repeat this color twice and use tidy scissors to trim around the placement at the machine. But we are creating cut files for this. So we only need our two positions. Now we're going to talk about adding lettering. That is done using the lettering tool. I choose that and it brings in the ABC. The first thing that we're going to do is I'd like to put the date right on top. So I'm going to change my ABC in my text box to 2018 because that's our year. And if you notice, it does not fit. So I'm going to select it, grab one of the handles and shrink it down so that it is a smaller size and it automatically recalculates the stitches so that it works fine and it places it right on top of our machine. Now the font that is used is the block font. You can use any of the fonts that are installed, whether they are BX, which has the needle next to them, or the ones that are built into the program. So for ease, we're just going to use the block font that's built in. Underneath, we're going to put social escape. So to do that, we're going to use another lettering object. So I'm going to click on the big letter A, move this down below, Go over to where it says text and type in S E W C I A L E S C A P E and click set. Now, if you notice, this is too large, and I can see that it's too large for the hoop because I have the red box here. I can simply grab a corner and resize it in, but I notice that the letters are a little far apart, so I'm going to use my slider to move them in closer. My sliders also allow me to adjust the slant on any of the letters. So if I move this to the left, it looks like it's italicized, and I can again move my lettering any place that I'd like to underneath my design. To do the circular lettering on the top, again, use another lettering object. Now, it has it as italicized. So to zero it out, I'm going to click on the reset and we'll reset the spacing as well, just to start from scratch. So clicking on these, uh, the resets on the right side puts everything back to normal. Circular text is the third option here. So when I choose this, it asks me to type, change the ABC to something else. Now I think that circular text, oops, let me get this right, S-T-I-C. works better, or looks better, I should say, with all capital letters. So either choose a font that has all capitals or type it in as all capitals. Hit the enter key on your keyboard, and oh my gosh, you notice that it is very much outside the hoop. So, but it's also not arched enough like our sample. So I'm going to use the radius button and change my radius so that it looks more like what I was looking for. And to resize this, I'm going to grab a corner, but I'm going to hold the shift key at the same time so that when I resize, it resizes from the center out, or center in, I should say, so that I can see that it's going to fit more. I don't have to keep making so many adjustments. Move it to where I want it to place. And there I have my design that is made. Now to create the applique cut file, that is done by clicking on the color chip on the applique tab. Normally we have the color tab selected, so we're going to make sure we have the applique tab. I need to make sure that the pull down menu says applique position, and it does because that's the color of thread I chose. One of the options that is shown here is that I can turn my fabric simulation so I can see what the applique is actually going to look like. And I have an inflation value. Now this value is the how much bigger than the shape that our design is going to be. And from class, you'll see that we I set it to be zero. 
So there's no inflation. It's going to be exactly on the cut line because we're going to fuse it in place. So I change my inflation to zero, click save. And in this dialog, it asks me what format do I want to save this cut file in. The SVG is the generic format, works in all the softwares like in the Cricut software. The FCM is directly for the Brothers Scan and Cut, so you can save this format right to a USB. We are going to be using the uh, Cameo, the Silhouette Cameo, so we're going to choose the Studio format. You can type in a different name here. We're going to click Save. And now in our Windows Explorer, or we can see that the design it actually created is called Machine Studio. That's the file that we created. This is what we're going to open up into our Silhouette software and send to the cutting machine.